Before we start, I want to explain why I'm reacting to this. I love corporate apologies. I think they are funny as hell. And with a little bit of scrutiny, you can actually see what these statements are trying to say and what the intention of them actually is, because it's not an apology. Most of the time, it's just an appeal to take the heat off or to distract or to just show some sort of accountability without actually having any accountability. So I thought, well, let's read this one because this is gaming related. So here we go. So I read over this and yeah, this is not an apology. Not a meaningful one. This is a textbook non-apology apology. This is what you do when you're forced by somebody else to apologize or it is politically expedient for you to do so, but you really aren't sorry. And this is how it comes off as. So let's read it and break it down. So first paragraph here is just an advertisement for their previous entries in the franchise. We can skip that. They're basically setting up to say, we went into this with the best of intentions. This paragraph is a little bit insulting. Since the announcement of Assassin's Creed Shadows, we've received many positive reactions, but also some criticism, including from you, our Japanese players. I read that as, you guys are overreacting. People love what they've seen so far. We share your passion for history and deeply respect your care for the historical and cultural integrity of your rich heritage. That's easy to say, but I don't know that you've proven that yet. Anyway, on to the next page. We still haven't gotten to the apology yet. We've put significant effort into ensuring an immersive and respectful representation of feudal Japan. Those words, significant effort, don't really mean anything. How do you quantify that? You can't. They're just playing off what you think those words mean, what you think a significant effort means. However, our intention has never been to present any of our Assassin's Creed games, including Assassin's Creed Shadows, as factual representations of history or historical characters. Have they ever said this before about any other Assassin's Creed game? I'm actually curious. If anybody has any information on that, whether or not they've had to say this for previous Assassin's Creed games before, please let me know. We can skip the rest of this paragraph because it's useless. Uh, Assassin's Creed Shadows is first and foremost designed to be an entertaining video game that tells a compelling historical fiction set in feudal Japan. Uh, I don't know if it's going to be entertaining. I noped out of Ubisoft games a while ago because they stopped being entertaining, but everything is worth what people will pay for it. If you are going to buy this game, just wait until it's heavily discounted. Our team extensively collaborated with external consultants, historians, researchers, and internal teams at Ubisoft Japan to inform our creative choices. The response to this game makes me question how thorough you guys actually were. But I don't know that much about Japanese culture or history, so I will defer to the experts on whether or not this is an accurate representation of Japan and its history. Okay, buckle your seats, here comes the big apology. Despite these sustained efforts, we acknowledge that some elements in our promotional material have caused concern within the Japanese community. For this, we sincerely apologize. That's it. There's your apology. That's the only thing they apologize for in this entire statement. Some elements, which is incredibly vague, in our promotional material, so they're not apologizing for anything other than the promo stuff that you've seen so far. Which, let me remind you, is supposed to be a reflection of the game and its gameplay. Imagine how this would go if you actually received this type of an apology from another human being where you were upset about something very specific that they did and they come back with, oh, I'm sorry about that thing you're upset about. It's not an accurate representation of how I feel about you or who I really am. The type of apology where someone says, I'm sorry you feel that way. The reason those apologies never really feel good in the body is because they're not real. They're just meant to placate and appease you so you can move on and they can ease their guilty conscience, or at least take the heat off if they don't have a conscience. That's this type of apology, completely meaningless and worth nothing. And that's all that Ubisoft has to offer in this whole statement. All game footage presented so far is in development and the game will keep evolving until launch. This one's kind of funny and I'll explain. Uh, on Saturday, I was on the Casual Consumer livestream with Fox and Scotty Boozy, and we were talking about Ubisoft's response to whether or not they would be delaying Star Wars Outlaws. And I said what they should say, the statement that they should release is, we're going to keep updating this game, we're going to keep tweaking it, we're going to keep improving it up until it's ready to be launched. That way it takes the heat off of you. You don't actually have to make any changes, you just need to acknowledge that there are some problems that people have brought up. And that's what this reads as to me. Give us a break. That's it. 
I wonder why they didn't make the same statement for Star Wars Outlaws. This part's interesting. We also want to clarify that while we have been consulting with many people throughout the development process, they are in no way responsible for the decisions that are taken by the creative teams in the interests of gameplay and entertainment. Consequently, we respectfully request that any criticism not be directed at our collaborators, both internal and external. I'm going to start with the end here. Ubisoft, you don't get to decide whether or not your collaborators deserve criticism based on their input and their collaborative efforts in this game. That's not for you to decide. You can request it and people can just flat out ignore you. But the previous paragraph, I'm actually kind of surprised by. They had an opportunity here to potentially throw people under the bus to save their own skin, and they chose not to, which makes me wonder why. Anyway, moving on. Creative liberties and historical inspirations. While we strive for authenticity in everything that we do, Assassin's Creed games are works of fiction inspired by real historical events and figures. From its inception, the series has taken creative license and incorporated fantasy elements to craft engaging and immersive experiences. The representation of Yasuke in our game is an illustration of this. His unique and mysterious life made him an ideal candidate to tell an Assassin's Creed story with the setting of feudal Japan as a backdrop. Why this game? Why was it this game that decided to use an actual historical figure? I'm curious about that, because Nawe isn't a historical figure, she's fictional. Why would you have one historical figure and one fictional one? That doesn't make any sense. Has there been any explanation for that? While Yasuke is depicted as a samurai in Assassin's Creed Shadows, we acknowledge that this is a matter of debate and discussion. Huh, well, that's one way of putting it, Ubisoft. I'll give you that. And then later on in this paragraph, they remind you that there's another character that exists in this game that's also playable, so don't just focus on the one that's getting all of the negative attention. <laughs> and that's pretty much it. There's really not much to this, quote, apology. It is disingenuous to call this an apology. They're not even specific about what the elements are that they're apologizing for. This is just a statement to take the heat off of them, to buy them a little bit of breathing space that, that I'm guessing they desperately need if they need to issue this type of a statement. So you've heard what I've said, but what do you think about this statement? I'll be honest, it doesn't really move the needle for me. I wasn't going to play another Assassin's Creed game for a while. The last one I played was Black Flag, and I only played that one because I got it on sale for 25 bucks. I mean, I'm glad I bought it. The sailing in that game is fun. I love the sea shanties, but I really couldn't tell you anything about the Assassin Templar plot. Either way, let me know what you think, and we'll chat about it. See you next time.